Deck on Elbia for Spear from India, okay. This is an absolute state lizard. This is actually is my country, state. okay? Yeah, you're on my side in this right now, but. We need to invade Japan. Yeah. The ADF. The ADF is the defeat force. Tell you something. I'm from Camelot. And I say kill them all! Yeah! Oh, yeah! What is the justification in their mind for having like this talk about this? I joined against Japan. What is what does this mean? This is a very confusing double war. What did Burgundy join? Okay, Burgundy joined against Japan. Everyone's joined against Japan, Jesus. I'm going to be launching an offensive in the Hessen area against the isolated Albions, okay? Okay. No stream? Come on, someone stream for the guy. Oh, but I'm in the sphere of Barata. Then break, break out. Okay, which one oh, is actually war. the Great War? Is it my one? I don't think that was ours. I don't think that was ours. But it might be. Uh, it's ours. One? This is yeah. the Great War in Europe. Okay, I'm gonna send troops into that battle. Actually, let's start another battle next to it. Actually, no, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's just reinforce this. Okay. I have no idea what lines hold them. Um... You don't hold lines. You have to fight guerrilla wars and mobile wars. Yeah, basically. Yeah, sure. There's no such thing as a line over there in the east. I just let them like attrition. I can't believe they haven't actually attacked me in a battle yet. What are they doing? Occupying your provinces. Wait, do I get Ethiopia? Yes, yes, yes. I do get Ethiopia on my side, right? No, he has a truce. Oh, we're not doing well in that battle. I got attacked. They did it. They did it. They did it. Can someone Train, speak uh, the name? I don't think we should even hold anybody. Like... We're doing okay in the battle. We're doing well enough. We're doing, we're doing okay. Now. The one in the uh, Frankfurt is not a good battle. They attacked in Rendsburg. They attacked up in another battle. That's fine. We will hold. Spain, can you let your stupid general at the battle, please? Oh, what? Don't do this to me. I'm surprised. You oh, there we go. Now, the now the battle should be better. Yep, it is. Can someone? Yeah, sorry about that. The game? It's really not a priority, but someone could. I can if see they that. Have time. Beirut. It doesn't have any artillery. A in bunch it. of Chinese troops in. Beirut. Okay. Ooh, I have an attack five over. Tell him, tell him to get the fuck out. Can you stop this? From ever happening. 
I don't know why he keeps Explain. happening. Explain. Can you also just shop? Can you just reinforce uh, Regensburg, guys? Uh, right. Yeah, pull out the Frankfurt bucket. Yeah, we're not doing well. Right, leave that dig in in uh, Spain. You're, you're you're removing that dig in. Don't go in there. What? What do you mean? Don't go into Versailles. Don't. Don't do it yet, please. If oh, nobody joins the battle for like a few weeks, they get a minus four penalty from digging. That does a lot of damage. Oh. Uh, just let me know when you're rehosting, and I'll join. Yes. Can I get a Wurzburg now, or are you just going to tell me when? No, not until that dig-in penalty goes away. Do you guys have naval dominance? If we do, I'd like blockades now, okay? Oh, so could someone spare me? Like, I don't think we do, but I'm building cruisers. No, I'm working on spare. I have cruisers, they're just back in my country. I don't want to send them over to I build more. Okay, we can reinforce Wurzburg now, okay? And I want a good defense general. China right now isn't doing anything. Well, I don't know why they aren't moving in or anything. What battles do you need me to reinforce? Like, like on, honestly, I'd rather, I'd rather terrain stay out so we can just... Any that need reinforcing? I mean, if China aren't a complete retard, they would just deck a separate war. I mean, yeah, but... Hey, we need to reinforce that fucking battle. Do I have to do it all myself? Italy? You have to, you have to tell me. You have to tell me what I have to reinforce. Can you not look at numbers yourself? Open your eyes. I have to give you a commentary on which battles are doing badly when you can just look. Spain, you've got so many troops. Yeah, they're moving. You can get mill access through the DM and Italy and walk them there. Yeah, I, I know, they are moving. All my troops are moving in now. We're gonna pull out of of Schaffenberg and Darmstadt into that forest, okay? Get ready, get ready. Wait, wait, hold on. Tell me when. We're consolidating, right? Do it now, yeah. do it now. Get back to the forest. That's it, that's a good consolidation. Italy, pull out of Darmstadt. I know, those were uh, troops that attacked an accident. Uh, I need some units in Beirut, thank you. I'm going to need troops in uh, every battle, please. Can we get that? Where are the Indians going? They need money? India's just throwing so many troops at this. Ah, they won't reinforce when they do die. They're, They're currently actually... falling to rebels, so I don't I don't know. Yeah, they are. It's embarrassing. I'm sending a stack around behind the line for no reason. It's 
So how like, is the world in the going Russia. if I can't see it? We're holding. We're holding. We're dealing them a lot of losses, but obviously we're on a pretty big back foot. India is not going to reinforce when we do wipe through his main wave of units. Yeah. I mean, he's not mobilized, so maybe. I'm rampaging through Bohemia for no reason. <laughs> oh shit, they let, they let down their guard. Nubians. The worst part is for like the third time in this campaign, I did Diplo with India, I did Diplo with the Ottomans, I did Diplo with Poland to get them out of this and they just join anyway. How did your units get to fucking Bruno? I walked there through Vienna. You did left the line to open, I think. And now I'm gonna exploit. Let's exploit this. We're going to exploit this, actually. Be careful. Oh, this is going to be a counter-offensive in Bujubi. We're attacking that. Go and exploit this, guys. And also, we're doing fine in every offensive battle of theirs. No, where are we attacking? Where are we attack attack wherever he is. This is actually a crazy good move. Make sure we're holding Krems. Ottomans in Vienna. Weevil, can you go to Krems? We're still not winning with an alliance like this. It's going to be embarrassing when we lose again. Oh, they're attacking Krems. I'm gonna get there first, don't worry. Nice weevil. Nice, nice, nice. One Regensburg, Regensburg, can you follow up? Yes, yes, actually. Yeah, follow up to Plazen. The, the Indians are just like not reinforcing, they've got no org. It's good to follow up on them. Oh, hey, another army you just arrived. No. I think it might be because they're on foreign soil. Yeah. Reinforce Bujavice, guys. Uh, somebody reinforced Vienna. It's not looking too good. I'm going to pull out of Bruno. I got mostly artillery in there. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Just Never mind. watch out. You might. You could retreat from it. The main offensive is elsewhere. All right, let's check in on my Asia war. Yeah. Well, what are you guys doing over there? Because A large amount of partitioning there. Japan or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Can you actually attack them, Virtual Rock? Yeah. Uh, Diana. I, yeah. Oh, we won that. Follow up to Prague and move north. Oh my god. Follow up and move around, guys. Let's go. Be careful to not get encircled, Russia. Yeah. And Barbo Mice. You could also attack Cherkasi. You've got oh the. Oh my truth. god. Spoke, spoke the oh my god. State of them. The absolute state of India. I'm moving so many stacks through. How did you get to in Prague? Oh, just listen? make sure to like cover the line. Oh my gosh, get shit in Memigan. Oh, I don't think we can get there. Yeah, in time, can we? Though. Can we do that? Uh, reinforce Würzburg, someone. Italy. Rizvik, Rizvik, Rizvik. Yeah, got it. And the other one. Oh, be careful. Don't leave, don't leave Mannheim. I'm not. Once you get the reinforce tick, I'll uh, reinforce mm -hmm. the Würzburg and Beirut. Oh my oh, gosh, yes. we're about to win Buja, boys. I don't know. I mean, I'm getting hit everywhere. It's kind of, yeah, kind of bad. Machine guns. Bujavica. Let's reinforce Prague. Yeah, we're just getting circled, actually. It's pretty bad. We're gonna pull out of Prague, okay? Listen, we're pulling out. I have no units. Get out of Prague. Poland attack with no general. We should wipe those pretty quickly. Battle of Weimar, yeah. You're doing well, Russia. I'd say continue attacking in the Ukraine. Wait, 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 wait. wait. India fell the communists. Oh my god. <laughs> what? And I was like, wait, why, yeah, why does this insane. flag look so weird?
the pathetic state. They lost his sphere. He had Elbians, Poland, and God knows who else feared. They've all lost their sphere. The Elbians probably Oh, that should that definitely well. help out. Where are my spears at? Where are my spears? Why have these ghost units just all across the map never been removed? Because Dempsey is too busy playing Fox Hole. Simple as. Can we reinforce Bayreuth with organized troops? Does anyone have organization? Not really that much. Reinforce tech, question mark. Alright, I got a good one. Yeah, me too. It's just org. Alright, I'll get some org units up there. Org ticks up every day rather than by the month tick. 10 points to Gryffindor. Like, I've got 127k in Regensburg, but there's no orc there. How about in Ronald Regensburg? Hmm. As long as it's not below, I think, 10 orc, it doesn't make a difference. But if it's below that, it has a chance to retreat. Very true, Zombie. In the, in the words of Steel, it's need Ryan, or it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Can we attack Prague and Carlsbad if Og doesn't matter? Because if Og doesn't matter, that would be okay. Let's do it. Where's my four, my five attack? Well, Og does matter, but... <laughs> I'm getting my five attack. Let's do it. Hold on a sec. Yeah, it doesn't actually count in damage calculations, therefore it's okay. No, it doesn't. Like, it's not like strength, where like the lower strength you have, the lower damage you do. Alright, attack Prague. Attack Prague. If you have too low Org, there's a chance to retreat. Like, individual brigades will retreat. Yeah, Spain attack Prague, okay, and then we reinforce everything else. See, this is gonna break them. Hold on, hold on, we could have circled the Ottomans down south. Attack Vienna. Oh, move to Bruno. Bruno's open, Bruno's open. Attack Bruno's Vienna, open. attack Vienna, attack Vienna, attack Vienna. Oh, oh, oh. Attack Vienna, I'm doing it. But I mean, and we need to get Attack Epstein, attack Epstein. Epstein? <laughs> <laughs> Einstein, sorry. We won Krems, where's Krems? It's in Austria, I think. Okay, that's good. We got to Brno behind them. That's the retreat to Brno. If that's a multi- Oh, it's not. Sad. So, where do you want me to- Actually, no. Shall we hit- Hit Eisenstadt. Hit Eisenstadt. I won Carlsbad. And they're, they're following up with an auto retreat? Where do you want me to go with this 30k in Krems? <sighs> Wait. I'm gonna just sit in Carlsbad and not gonna overextend like I did last time. They got no commander in fucking Vienna, man. I mean, Vienna man square. I'm reinforcing Prague with my 5 attack. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Are we just taking the piss out of all these province names the whole war? Holy shit, dude, look at look at fucking Poland and Russia's border. Oh, I can't believe we won this. Again, I was so doomer again. And then we just win. I mean, oh my, I don't know what to say. That was enjoyable, I guess. Now I'm invested. Wait, how the fuck are they losing? What? These guys just can't win. They just actually suck. Part of it is I thought they were like, I feel like they were close to breaking us, but then they just... I don't know yeah, what happened. India fell to rebels, so they don't have. They're not getting goods anymore. Is there any nation that needs subbing, uh, zombie? I want to watch. Uh, I don't think so. Spectator <laughs> nation. You can watch it in ten months. You can watch it. Too. This is the great. War. Yes. <laughs> Are you implying you? Yeah, this is the great video? war. That's you can watch one random American war from it in uh, three months from Weevil or something like that. If we do you this, you could watch right, it two yeah. weeks ago. Game can I up? please dual box with yeah, Blizzard? That'd be so based. The great war. I support that, to be fair. I'll, I'll release him as Tunis. What is the Terranian situation? He's just sitting there. That's sitting. You're not in the war? They're not attacking on you? I don't want to call him yet. Most of China's army is apparently in China, so... Hmm. Skill issue! It's probably just because they're not really sure, I mean, it's fine. I didn't... The way things are going now, we don't have to call them in. I became a great power, and why is my industry number eight? Oh, it's a buddy guy. guy. That's not really a nation you can play, I'm afraid, mm. I think. No, oh, okay. Wait. Sad. No, no, even, not even a dual box. Keep, keep, oh. keep him on retainer. Yeah. On retainer, yeah. On retainer. Keep him around for uh, any of their rage quits. You can play Bohemia when we release it. We're kind of fucking him on all the fronts right now. Right. Whenever you're ready, just say so and I'll unpause it. I will, I will. Oh, he's not taxing. We're no. pushing down in and then are you gonna shame? towards Slovakia, we're pushing in Bohemia. Russia's completely fucked them on that on that front. Uh, we're just holding the two offensive Albion battles. Dude, why are the ghost units? The ghost of Austria. 
Those Austrians have been there for the whole campaign. How is the battle in Vienna going? That's fine. I, I'm gonna go to Brno with those guys. Yeah, get get some guys in Brno. I'm sending my five attack. I could hit Burgundy. They're all alone. He is uh, in a player war right now. Why does, that, does that block me out? Okay, I'm they hit me in Carlsbad. Let's reinforce. I have to ask, like, Japan. I have to ask Japan. Oh, I've got no commander? Own. Wait, 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 wait. If Japan agrees, then you can do it. Oh, they probably would. Do you really want to? Go ahead. Box, so. But it would, I mean, it would, it would mean it, it would mean joining the Greater War, where Scandi is also in and all that stuff. Yeah, right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, so I can't do my own. Yeah, well, I, I think yeah. you should, but the rules don't allow it. So, well, that's that's. I don't know if Scandi would it. give a shit. I think that's Burgundy true. only joined <laughs> the prestige. Right. Let's get a morbidly obese reinforced tech here. <laughs> They're gonna break in by Oi any time now. Wait, why are you pausing? Did you lose again, Richard? Oh. Oh wait, where's Ultimate the problem? Benchmark is breaking Russia. He oh, deleted it. I just, I think he just deleted it. Yeah, he deleted it. Oh, I did. Okay. Bam! Russia's doing it. I did get that morbidly obese reinforcing. I got a stack that re that re reinforced to exactly thirty k again. Like fuck me. Yeah. Oh, By right. Oh, uh, follow up. No, don't. We yes, actually, do follow up to Weimar and Wait, that. Weimar and Minigan. Hold on. We need to hit Weimar. There's an open forest province. Don't get encircled around. We do need to go to that forest. Hold on, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm heading go to the forest. And Prague. Look at Prague. Yeah. Alright, hold on, guys. Just just first in the game. Don't quit the game yet. We can actually... Uh, if you... Uh, do we have enough troops to do this? No, we, we don't have enough for these current battles. But I was going to say we could move around through Aussig and then circle that uh, battle we're currently fighting the Poles in. We'll be okay if we just go to that forest and sit there. Hey everyone, how's the war going? Pretty good, I'd say. Swimmingly. Spud, why didn't you want me in the war? Because it would get Burgundy on the other side of it and I was too compromised at that point, I would have collapsed. You think they would actually join? They would have if you did. Oh, uh, okay. I feel like you could join now, and they wouldn't. I could smack them if Scandi and Japan left. The thing me. is, we we don't need the dual monarchy now, and it splits up too much war score. Burgundy probably wouldn't join them. It's best to try and get your separate war against Burgundy. And Grand Columbia's like, oh, Weevil, I'm going to invade the northernmost island. Uh, okay, just let me know when you do it. And I check over, and instead of invading Hokkaido, he's just launched like <laughs> eight, 80 brigades into fucking Honshu. Like, it's working, so I'm going to commit to it, but I'm just like, what? The strongest hugbox in the game loses every war. <laughs> I'm killing the hugbox right now. Half of the hugbox is getting killed by that, and the other half is killing itself in Europe right now, like mainly India. I'm trying to too. how does it feel playing half a country? I'll get it back. I'll get my other half. That's all right. We're still flying half a country. Wow, well, I'm still flying half an industry. Hopefully, we can take more off of Poland by the emplacement. Yeah, you became a great power. I mean, yeah, but all my factories are shut down. I have to say again, I told Poland before this session, just don't keep helping the Albians against me, so you, then you would have the ability to actually fight Russia, and look what fucking happens. I don't get it with these people. I don't fucking get it. This hey is guys, why don't what? join against what? me, and good things will happen to your country. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. Just join against me for the fifth time, and lose for the fifth fucking time! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll have mercy on you, I didn't want to fight you anyways. Joins against you again, <laughs> repeat. And lose, again and again. I just noticed that Elbians transferred Holstein to Scandinavia. Yeah. Giving up more land. Right, he did? What the fuck? Was that in like the hopes of getting Scandi to help? Probably to keep him out. Yeah, probably just to ensure neutrality. What is the point of having a Batavia? Well, that... Point me this one thing they've done that has contributed to the game, other than within <laughs> like 40 minutes of rehosting. I don't know. I think they're <laughs> waiting for India to like puff up that iron province and they're going to take it. Oh wow, that's just fascinating. At this rate, it's just going to fall to fucking Zimbabwean rebels. <laughs> we have one Vienna. We can move to Bratislava. Move, move up to Bratislava. Uh, I would say we have to do that. Uh, we're okay. winning in Brno. Uh, reinforce Eisenstadt. That's actually me who needs to do that. Sending men into we the already won. Bratislava? What? Oh, we stack wiped them! Move behind to Sopron. Spoken, I have no army. Sopron. No, I can't. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, just hold Bratislava, Bratislava they're attacking it. What's happening up north? Just all round winning everywhere. Oh my god, we won Weimar. I'm encircling mine again. Oh, oh shit. Cool, 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 oh, cool. Okay, he pulled back. We're going to follow up anyway. 
following. Give me a massive reinforced stick game. Yeah, I need oh, a good one. Allah. I need a gigantic. Oh, is it gonna reach it in time? A beast ready to. Oh, the 5th of January. No, I hate mountains. Oh, that's why I'm doing so bad. I forgot about the psychology tree. What are we doing? All right, don't follow up. We want Einstead. Don't follow up on it. I need to reinforce. Move those troops to other battles. Oh, uh, I'd start the attack, so I think that's accidental. They're retreating from Prague. Okay. Oh, I'm cool. going to move to Dresden, um, Leipzig. Dresden and Leipzig. I'm just moving up there. It's open. Uh, where do we fo We follow up to Osig and Haraditz, okay? Attack yeah. Osig too. You can then encircle it. Yeah, yeah. hit hit Haraditz. It'll be risky. Stay there. That is actually that's insanely risky. Don't do don't do that. I'm just moving to Gorlitz because uh, Dresden is safe. Oh, they're pulling out of Osig. Yeah, move to Osig, Spain. Mm -hmm. And we're also winning Osig. in the reinforce Gotha. Oh, we just won. Oh, Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg won. Do we follow up? No. All right. Let's reinforce Gotha. Can encircle um go one Bratislava. Pull out a Darmstadt and all that shit. Encircle yeah, encircle Gofa. Go for these nuts. Wait, 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 wait. You can encircle Gofa. Troops into effort. No, ah. they just pulled back, so follow up and also hit uh, Fulda. Okay? Alright, hitting the Fulda gap. And I'm moving to Fulda Gotingen. Gap. Fulda uh, these nuts. Oh, I'm just moving around. Fuck it. It's genuinely over. You want to hit Frankfurt? Just all out offensive on there, and you win. I am. They've already lost. It's over. Ooh, I just took the forest in Czechia. Let's hold that line. Uh, can, we, can anyone reinforce Castle and all this? We just run all. Right, we're just going to hold this line. This is a Poland great line. separate surrendered. Why are we taking off him? We don't have to accept oh, LB and separate, oh. separate surrendered. And Ottomans. Oh, neither, neither of them are GPs. Uh, we're taking a hundred war score. Hessen, still 29 war score. Take Vandenberg, that'll cut him in half. It's an enclave? I'm adding Middle Egypt, Low Egypt, I mean. What is India and, Anna and Japan? So since they surrendered, they can't be retracted, so now you just have to add the war goals. Just take Orisha, because I think you need that to get the Albions accepted. Yeah, you can get yeah. the Albions accepted. <laughs> oh my no god, I can see why he's fighting Russia now. Oh my it. gosh, Russia almost got here. Oh, Zombie, can you take the decision to unsiege me and also tell Otto's to leave Dalmatia? Siege. Do that for the Nubians, too. Yeah. Zombie, can you go tell this, uh... Well, that's another rule dispute after... Oh, he is. Now he is. I know, right? Just take capital on him. And okay, bro. Capital yeah, but capitals are not rain. German land. Just take the accepted pawn. 72 war score. Uh, Fair. Take Anhalt. It's a really say. good region. Yeah, probably will. Kessen, no. Anhalt. Which one's Anhalt? But it's yeah, the one guys... to the left of Brandenburg. You can take you that in Hanover. China just sent me a mean peace deal. Can we get that punished? Hessen is Nubian. also a good one. The Nubian. Anhalt is 24. Yeah, I wasn't just... reinforcing. That's because India fell to rebels. Um, yeah, he fell to rebels, so I literally couldn't do anything. Guys, by the way, we're still allowed to attack India. We can yeah. go and circle his army right now. You want to go? Yeah, guys, let's do it. Attack his army, then move to encircle, guys. We're fighting in the Albion DMZ. Boy, so we could actually go and invade uh, China. And the Pol I'm gonna encircle them through the Polish DMZ. Albion troops, get out of the way. <laughs> There's a steam train coming. Yes, we can do it. Get to Tessin. Get to Tessin. <laughs> the absolute stick. Yes, we've done it. <laughs> We're there. Beautiful. <laughs> Fucking morons <laughs> thinking they can get away with their separate surrender bullshit. <laughs> hey, move the Albion armies out of the way unless you want to get steamrolled by our anti-Indian forces. But focus Where? on adding the war goals. He want to be. Yeah, I'm just taking. I'm just taking Anhalt, I think. Or I could take Hessen. Can I'm I taking, add any CBs? Taking Egypt. I'm actually just going to take Hessen, I think. Look at the name of Weevil's general, Vincent de Copen de Falayan. De Copen. De Copen.
General Decoping! Actually, tell you what, I'm taking Slovakia. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's cheaper than German regions. Yeah, Poland fucking yeah, deserves it. Good Indians still haven't surrendered. They're just gonna kill the entire army. <laughs> Whip those out. He's at 555 Ooh. brigades right now. Is that the end of India? Oh, we just wiped them. How many brigades is India? Hold now? on, let, let, let me check how many brigades. He, he lost half his army! <laughs> huh? He was at 554. <laughs> Make sure to get out of there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate the unsiege for Albions. So. Steiner, attack! Why not? Why not attack? I need information. My Führer, Russian army की तादाद बहुत बड़ी है. तादाद. जिसे हार का डर होता है, तादाद उसके लिए होती है. जीत का जज्बा जिसके अंदर होता है, वो अकेला ही सैकड़ों के बराबर होता है. ये बात Steiner से जाकर कहो. Steiner ने attack करने से मना कर दिया है. क्योंकि उसके पास सिर्फ कुछ भूख है नंगे सिविलियंस ही बचे हैं मना कर दिया है मेरे आदेशों का पालन नहीं किया जा रहा है मेरे आदेश नाम का फ्यूरर रह गया हूं मैं मेरे आदेश नहीं माने गए भागा हुआ है मेरे साथ तुम लोगों ने धोखा दिया है मुझे तुम सब ने मेरी आर्मी मेरे ऑफिसर्स सब ने मुझे धोखा दिया है but sure what can you maybe take like one or maybe well, I mean I, I added all of them just because I don't know what the fuck the worst for is just figure out like what do you want mm. I'm gonna make sure you get Orsha and Kiev those are really good yeah that, that would work yeah okay sorry it's kind of complicated I'm doing my best Orsha so that means Make sure you get out of the Obians since I just activated the on siege. So we'll be reseating it now, everyone. Okay, I've actually just worked out the perfect. all the things you've added, Italy, right? Yes. So I take off Minsk and Rovna. I've got a piece still exactly 101, I'm sending it. Danubia yeah, yeah. and Arcadia, get out of Obians since you're reseating it after the other it. It's... I sent the piece. Yeah. Wait, I just sent it to the whole fucking alliance. China shit, fuck, it's separate. Is China really gonna end seeing this? Ah, oh, fuck, I have to do it separately. We already yeah, just killed half them. of India's army, it's not gonna be too yeah, hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go blockade them. What's the war score? Because I, I can't see any of this. It was 101. In total? All of it, yeah. I can guarantee you I got the recording, yeah. Okay, I'll trust you on this, but... What happened? China accepted your piece? China just accepted the whole piece. Uh, Whatever, he's oh. great work, Cap. Okay, so technically it was separate surrender, but since he accepted that, that means he just surrendered himself. Okay, so cool. whatever, it's not important. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you weren't planning on, on, on AP games at anything else anyway, since... No, there was 101 war score that we just took. Exactly, yeah. so... It doesn't really matter if it's separate surrender anyway. Oh, Japan just... Oh. Alright, time, time to get a second peace deal negotiated. Oh, wow. Whatever, man. I took fucking Slovakia from Poland because I'm sick of this piece of shit. I think I'm gonna mow, but I'm gonna get ready to attack Burgundy. Yeah, I just took Ottoman's most popular yeah. province, and I can take African farms and mines, which makes it the same region. I think Scandi's gonna join if I attack Burgundy. How about a little song? I would join you against Burgundy in that case. Yeah, because England started mobilizing this one the moment goes out I did. To all the guys that just won this war. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you then. Okay. Go from Burgundy and take. I made a deal I mean, to Spain. Stay that. Spain. Um, the the thing is, now. I kind of accidentally joined their war in Japan, so I yeah, can't. Yeah, they're surrendered. Them. They're surrendered. Well, yeah, Japan just surrendered. Kind of the so overseas. Overseas. I didn't even know What slimy deal did you make, Danube? You, took, you accepted some uh, money? I think he's going to transfer me the Rhineland and Palatinate for me staying here. Oh. I mean, if he's getting scanning, I'm I'm in 100 percent and Spain is too. We gotta fight this. We gotta fight this naval shit. It's be, even if it's on land, that that just benefits us even more. Yeah, Italy and Spain, I will need your help. I know. I'm sending all my stuff to you. Bud. What? Me? Sorry. Oh Can yes. It's going up. It's going up. Do you want sphered as well, DM? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm making loads of money anyway. I'm gonna deck the sphere on you. I do indeed think 
that England and Scandia are gonna join. I think this is it. Good. We'll fucking gank him. Gank him on the mainland. I'm not too action. afraid of uh, England. England well, has Scandia's a pretty big navy, navy but they're technically best. four. All right. Uh, Spain, we're doing this. Just get ready. Fight a war. Get on the armies and then. Like, this is it, yeah, boys. Scandi's mobbing. This Scan is it. Scandinavian blood will be spilled. This is the Scandinavian reckoning. I'm gonna fuck up this guy. I'm gonna take my African shit. All right, Scandi. Wait. Uh, hey. Wait. Why isn't it considered one? What are you talking about? I'm uh, I'm agreeing to this deal. Obviously, I'm staying out of this war. I just want to make sure Holstein and Pomerania. When it comes to me forming Germany, I can add a I can add a CB right okay. now. Transfer them. I form it. You get them back, and we're fine. Yeah. Add whenever you need and peace out of the war. We have eleven that we can add. I think DM has the uh, CB now. He might. The Pacific Islands. Fire. Okay, we have to find out what those names are, though. You got you got a little bit of time. I'm gonna pause the game, so it's not. It's gonna be Kiribati, whatever. Can, uh, whoever wants to add them. Did add you know them. that that's pronounced Kiribati? Mm, interesting. What are they called? Uh, Kiribati. Kiribati. Yep. K I R I. There you go. If it's everything. Yep. Yeah. Let's add, let's add one more colony real quick. They have Send the state of the Asian unbox. Send the no. Point three eight mil. Yeah. Money. Give some money to DM. Wait, who wants money? I mean, no. I've got I've got one point eight million. I'm just worried about you guys. No. You have some. no I'm I can fund all of you. Uh, what do I have? I have okay, uh, sure. two million in the bank. Okay, so we got a little bit of a stockpile saved up, and Dan Oob's generous, so we should be good to go. Yeah, fuck it, we're going in. The thing about the Asian hug box is that if any of them send their armies to Europe, they don't have to worry about a backstab. But in Europe, where the situation is always tense, you never know what's going to happen. There's always an old score to settle, you have to watch your back. Scandinavia and England sent massive amounts of troops to the Far East, where they just successfully carried out the ADF's first operation and beat Japan. I'll talk about that peace deal soon. But those two countries were also planning a partition of the dual monarchy alongside Burgundy. That situation, the old DM Burgundy rivalry, is about to explode. This is very much a country that's gonna blow up in its face. We have that to look forward to in the next episode while I watch from the sidelines waiting to collect my reward after it's over. Now, let's look at the ADF's war against Japan, the peace deal, the war analyzer, and some details about it. As you can see, they're not messing around, they're going for a full conquest. Arcadia took Oshu region for 861k pops. Gran Colombia took Kyushu in the south for 1.3 million pops. It might not be immediately obvious due to the colours on the map, but England took Formosa aka Taiwan aka Takasco as it's called in this mod, which is a colony with 1.31 million pops. Scandinavia took Hainan with 870,000 pops. So all four core members of the ADF took a decent region each. But Arcadia also got the Pacific Archipelago region of Kiribati, which only has 18k pops, but it's a valuable port in the region. So all in all, Japan lost 4.3 million pops, going from his pre-war total of 15.7 million down to about 11 million. Some extra details about this war that I can gather because we pretty much missed all of it. At the start of the war Japan had about 10 cruisers and he was constructing as many as he could, he must have gotten the research or the invention recently. New Santara, Japan's Asian hugbox ally who joined the war on his side, had about 20 cruisers similarly. So those were the two small Asian fleets that faced off against Scandinavia's roughly 40 cruisers and his amazing 6 defence admiral. They didn't really stand a chance. The battle appears small in ship losses but it was enough. Their fleets retreated to a neutral port, as fleets always do, in China where Scandinavia blockaded them for the rest of the war, they didn't dare sortie out against that admiral. Nusantara sat out the rest of the war fully blockaded, and then holding off a coordinated numerically superior enemy in an invasion of Japan is a pretty much impossible task because of the linear shape of the islands. They can always threaten an encirclement, they can always pick off the smaller islands first, I've been in that situation a few times, many players have. It's not a good place to be, when your first line of defence, your navy falls, it's pretty much over. And here's the war analyzer, by the way. 
while we're on this, I want to talk about some of the additional countries that joined on the ADF side, including me. Now, when you think back to when this war started, I was unsure about exactly what was happening. I wanted to try and coordinate things with the ADF to get myself some extra support or try and avoid the war in some way. Ultimately, it made absolutely no difference and being in the war was pointless for me. And if anyone had ever made an issue of it because it's technically against the rules, I would have white pieced out. Burgundy was very similar, he joined the war and didn't contribute. Except it's a little bit more problematic with him because someone wanted to attack Burgundy, but was prevented due to him being in a war. Sort of like what I was trying to do with Gran Colombia at the end of the previous episode, except it actually worked this time. Again, if someone raised that as an issue it probably would have been sorted and he would have white pieced out, but the dual monarchy didn't know the rules. Having said that, it might turn out that waiting will benefit the DM here, because now that Spain and Italy have won the Great War, they're going to help him. As Zombie said at the time, it was a confusing double war, and I'm also glad that the issue of potentially merging these wars was never raised. Arcadia was the only country who actually fought in both of them, and I think it's very fair to say that they were separate, distinct wars. Arcadia in this episode was a bit like the USA in World War II with a Japanese Pacific theatre, and also fighting in Europe. Just as a quick note, Batavia also joined the war on the side of the ADF. He didn't get anything in the peace deal, but he's clearly got an angle here. He has interests against Nusantara, who owns Madagascar, and he's probably trying to negotiate for some of those Scandinavian colonies in Africa. So that's it, the ADF coalition which we saw formed in the last episode has made its first move and dealt a massive blow to the soft outer shell of the Asian hug box. Brilliant stuff. Now let's get into the Great War. The first thing to say about it is that despite being a Great War, it wasn't actually as great in scale, total casualties, or length, as the previous war. That one reached 17 million total casualties and this one got 10 as you can see. The Hugbox Removal Squad War of Part 14 and 15 got 7 million. The Great War mechanic being invented in the early 1890s is a bit arbitrary. And if the Japanese ADF conflict ended up in the same war somehow, then it truly would have been an epic big world war. In fact, India and China not joining Japan was actually a smart move by them, because as land powers they can do nothing to help Japan and they would just get blockaded. Anyway, it's obvious that the loss of the Indian sphere of influence, the loss of military goods supply and the inability to reinforce was why they lost the war. And it's an absolute classic, it's like the Muscovy Grand Finale. But what I want to do is constructively point out the enemy side's failure to adapt to this, and what they could have at least done to survive and prolong the war. Because they can win it in the long run, they have the full potential of India and China behind them. And with more time, they could have resolved the sphere issue, getting the PLC and Albians back in the Indian sphere or in the Chinese sphere or whatever. So when the Indian Sphere incident happened, the enemy side didn't change their strategy, they continued trying to attack us. And basically, they bled themselves out in those offensive battles without being able to reinforce like we were and like they were before they lost the Sphere. My hindsight recommendation for the enemy alliance when they lost their Indian Sphere of Influence is to first of all call off all their offensive battles. The seriousness of what happened might not have fully dawned on them, but they should be on the back foot now. Perhaps they still felt confident because they were actually doing very well in these two planes offensive battles. In Würzburg they actually dealt more casualties to us overall. But we can replenish our casualties now while they can no longer do so. In any case, my next recommendation would be for the Elbian Confederation to completely abandon this western portion of the front. It would be the same as what he did in the previous two wars, and the front lines would look pretty similar to back then. This allows them to consolidate and have all their forces grouped more strongly together. Also, they don't have Scandinavia to worry about. If you're on the back foot, you have to be willing to give up land to consolidate and find a better defensive position. As you know, what actually happened was that the Elbians bled himself dry in these two offensive battles here, and then we counterattacked and swept this whole side of the front away. Look at this Albion reinforced tick on troops sitting in his own territory as we counterattack. That was it, 0.2k went up to 3k and 5k went up to 7k, and he's still in an offensive battle against us here. In this war I was the only person who ever messed up and got encircled. 
Thankfully the wider circumstances of the war meant that I didn't get punished too much for this mistake, where I lost two stacks and Arcadia lost one stack in an overzealous offensive trying to push through a gap in their line, I left a gap in our line. All I had to do was secure the two forests in Saxony, not going to Weimar because that's too far. You might have gotten your hopes up that the peace deal of the Great War would be different from the last wars we've just fought, that we would be able to take way more land and I'd be able to form Germany off the back of it. But no, the one region at a time policy of forming Germany must continue. You might be asking, why didn't you use Add to Sphere on the Albians? First of all, I would not be able to form Germany after doing that because I still need Burgundian land and Scandinavian land. Doing that would lead to a lot of uncertainty. The Albians has the potential to break out of my sphere in the future and the enemy alliance has the potential to break him out of my sphere conventionally. As of right now, it seems like I'm going to get the Burgundian German cores and the Scandinavian German cores, but that's conditional on deals with other players and it's not going to happen immediately, at least after Burgundy's done with whatever war he has with the dual monarchy. Nothing is more certain than taking more land and more pops and more cores, making myself much stronger and making the Albions much weaker. So I've just given an explanation as to why I'm just taking raw land instead of using the sphere tactic, but sphering the Albions here is still completely viable and I just hadn't thought of it yet at the time. If I sphere the Albions then form Germany, I don't annex him or take any land off him, I just become Germany. Here are the pop numbers for the land we took in the peace deal. Italy expands his grip on Egypt and the Suez Canal by taking the Ottomans' most populous region, the colony of Lower Egypt. Taking Slovakia was an act of pure vindictiveness against the PLC on my part, but it's well worth it, and the PLC is leaning towards becoming a rump state that can't really fend for itself, as my ally, Virtual Rocks Russia, gets extremely powerful, with little Terrania by his side. I could have taken Nordrhein instead of Slovakia, because it was slightly cheaper war score wise by about 3, but Nordrhein only has 180,000 pops, compared to the 783,000 pops of Slovakia. It was the PLC's second most populous state, it got a core on one of the provinces in it, which might be something to watch out for, and it's 2.9% Danubian, which is 22,000 accepted pops coming into the home country. The most pointless comparison is that I gained more accepted pops out of taking Slovakia than Arcadia gained pops at all taking Kiribati. As for the total pop numbers of Europe in general, I'm going to save that for the next episode because I don't have a save close enough to when this war ended. The last thing I want to mention is that the Albians did transfer Holstein to Scandinavia in 1892. This actually took place during part 19, the last video, and I missed it, it's a big plot hole. It makes complete sense for Scandinavia because he doesn't have to worry about fighting the Albians, he can go and send his troops to the Far East and then maybe against the dual monarchy. And for the Albians it gets rid of the threat of Scandinavia, whose impact on the last war was massive. As you just heard before the analysis section, Scandinavia is still willing to go through with the deal for me forming Germany. He might not intervene to help me with that again militarily, but as long as the transfers will happen later down the line, that's absolutely fine for me. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Over on Patreon, I'm going to be releasing another compilation of bonus clips from this series very soon. As always, thank you so much to everyone who supports me over there. I'm considering doing another multiplayer Victoria 2 campaign on my Twitch, which I haven't done for a while, so stay tuned for that, check out Discord announcements and community posts. Here we are, part 20 is over and the series doesn't show any signs of ending. The Venice series, which was previously my longest series, went up to part 19 and then a grand finale. Many campaigns end on the Great War, the Venice series did. This one just technically had a Great War, although it didn't really feel like a Great War and none of the ongoing conflicts in the campaign are resolved of course. So the series will continue and become by far my longest series, even in average episode length. See you in the next episode, which is not going to be a grand finale, it's just going to be the 700th war between the dual monarchy and Burgundy. Bye! GG, that was fun. See you guys next week. I'm um, assuming I don't blow my brains out, which I might.